Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to read to you this really fun new story, and it's called Super Satya Saves the Day. <clears throat> it was a loud day on a loud street in this very loud town of Hoboken. Here it says, hey, squeak, 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 beep, beep. Honk, honk! The fire trucks made fire truck noises. The police cars made police car noises. And the swings at Church Square Park were extra squeaky. And the knot in Super Sate's stomach felt super tight. She was like feeling a little worried. How was she supposed to do all the things that superheroes do if her superhero cape, her cool cape, was stuck at the dry cleaners. Satya wished they could have picked the cape up on the way to school, but the dry cleaner was closed. Super Mama said she was super late to work and they couldn't wait for the store to open. There they are. And there's her cape hanging up inside the clothes laundry. <coughs> Excuse me, friends. They did stop for coffee, though. They always stop for coffee. Mama says if she doesn't have any coffee, her head will explode. Today is going to be the worst, Super Satya thought as they headed to school. All of her superhero powers were in that cape that Super Mama made for her. And there was just no way her super senses were going to work without it. At school, Miss Corinna was teaching the class about communities. Satya was excited to build her own city, but she couldn't get the structure quite right. She knew it was because she always did her best thinking with her cape on. And up here it says, use kind words, play kind games, and keep hands and bodies to self. We really like the classroom expectations. Satya slumped in her chair. <sighs> Nothing was going right today. That's when she spotted Tanya, her friend Jahan's lost T-Rex. Tanya had been missing for days and Jahan had been super sad. Super Satya scooped Tanya up and ran over to Jahan, who hugged his pal Satya so tight, she felt some super breath leave her belly. Super Satya, you did it! You found her! You really are a hero, Jahan said. Not without a cape. Satya thought as the class headed out for an afternoon walk. Hmm, seems like she was still able to do some good even without her cape. Outside, the boats were making boat noises and the birds were making bird noises. It was very loud. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Boop, boop, toot, toot, chirp, chirp. Suddenly, Super Satya heard a sound that didn't belong. It was a gentle whimper coming from somewhere near the grass. As she got closer, the noise got louder. A scared set of puppy eyes peeked out from behind the trash can. Don't worry, little friend. We'll find your family, Super Satya said. In the distance, a boy was holding a leash, running and shouting, Leo! Leo! Come here, buddy! He looked just as scared as a dog. I think he's over here, Super Satya called to the boy. He looks really scared and I heard him crying. And look, it's still noisy. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Root, root. Chirp, chirp. Toot, toot. And the boy's going, Leo, Leo. Oh, and look, he's crying. I'd be so sad if I lost my puppy. His collar is too big for him, said the boy. Thank you for finding him. I love him so much and I was really worried. You must have some super hearing to have heard his little cry with all the noise out here. Super Satya walked a little straighter on the way back to school. Her super eyes and ears seemed to work just fine, even without the cape. Hmm. After school, Satya was missing her cape more than ever. Today was the day she had planned to conquer the tallest slide in Hoboken, but there was no way that was happening without her trusty cape. She says, oh, forget it. Look at this slide. Woo! That looks like fun. But then 
Super Satya started thinking about the day. She thought about all the super things she had done and all the friends she had helped. She found Tanya the dinosaur. She found the boy's lost puppy. Pretty super. Hmm. I wonder, do I really need my cape? What do you think? Does she really need her cape to be able to do super things? Seems like she did it without it, huh? With a quick nod and wink to her super dada, Super Satya ran up the steps and took her spot at the top of the slide. They saw all the noises, honk, honk, whoosh, whoosh, chirp, chirp, chirp. She was scared, but she was also super excited. Without thinking about anything else, she let go. Whee! You did it, Super Satya's dad exclaimed as he picked her up and gave her a kiss. You are super brave. On the way home, Super Dada and Super Satya stopped at the dry cleaner just like Super Mama said they would. The cape was pressed and ready. Thanks, Mrs. Markowitz. You always take such good care of my cape, Satya said as she left the shop. Having her cape back sure felt great, Satya thought as she draped it over her shoulders. But she knew her day was super because she was... Super Satya! Boop, 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 boop. Right? She didn't need her cape to be super, but it does make her look extra cool. I really love that book. I hope you guys do too. I love you and I'll read another one tomorrow. Bye!